Greetings and thank you once again for the opportunity to come to you and spend a few moments today in the Word and in prayer. This week we're talking about strengthening our inner man and I'm just highlighting different practices or disciplines that will help us become strong spiritually in our inner man. Today I bring our attention to another discipline which is to pray in tongues. Now praying in tongues is something that God has made available for every child of God, for every believer. That all of us can be baptized in the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of God comes in upon us and He brings with Him these gifts and one of them is the ability to speak in other tongues and God has set this for us, for every believer as a way by which we can be strengthened. Now, of course, praying in tongues serves a variety of purposes and we're not covering all of that. But one of the things the Bible says happens to us when we pray in tongues is that we are edified. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 4, the first part of verse 4 says, He who speaks in an unknown tongue edifies himself. The word edify means to build himself up. It's like building an edifice, a strong tower. Brick by brick, it's being built up. So as we pray in tongues, we are edifying ourselves. Or Jude puts it like this in Jude chapter 1 verse 20. He says, but you beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So he says, on your faith, you have a foundation of faith, but you've got to build yourself, your spirit man, your inner man. You've got to build your inner man. How do you do it? You pray in the Holy Spirit. Now, how much should I pray in the Holy Spirit? Pray as much as you can. As much as you can. The Apostle Paul said, I thank my God. I speak in tongues more than all of you writing to the Corinthians. That means he prayed a lot in tongues. So I want to encourage you. Take time to pray a lot in tongues. Maybe half an hour, an hour two hours, three hours, just spend time praying in tongues. And what happens when you do that? Your spirit man is being strengthened. It's being edified. It's a mechanism God has given to us to spiritually strengthen our inner man. And there are a lot of other things that happen to your spirit when you pray in tongues. I'm just emphasizing one aspect, that you are edified in your spirit. You see, it's not about praying out there in public. Praying in tongues really is something that's a, it's a private thing. So you just lock yourself in the room, spend an hour in tongues, praying one hour, two hours, whatever, how much of a time you want. Just pray in the Spirit and you're being built up. You're being strengthened in your inner man. God has given that to you and me as a way to strengthen our inner man. Let's make use of it. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'd help each of us pray in the Spirit. Pray in tongues, strengthening our inner man, receiving revelation, being renewed in the Spirit, and all the wonderful benefits of praying in the Spirit so that we can become strong and become effective for the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.